is the point? What is the point of suffering, of crying, of living, of love? Mm -hmm. There was a time, a long time ago, when monsters put their pictures on walls. Conversational English. Hello. 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 Turn to chapter three. Enunciation of the short vowel I. Bit. Lit. It. Beat. Eat. Eat. We came to America in 1981 while the Cold War raged on and on and James Bond battled the KGB on movie screens, and President Reagan called Russia the evil empire. When I watched the movie E.T., I did not identify with the boy or Drew Barrymore. I identified with the alien. E.T., go home. Go back to planet Russia. In Chicago. <laughs> Our upstairs neighbor got arrested for shooting at his wife. New neighbors moved in. A single mother with two teenage children. So where are you guys from? Russia, my mother replied. My mother would never tell the truth again from that moment on. Tell people we are Greek uh, or Italian, no better yet. Tell people we are French. The American people, they love French fries. The teenage boy and teenage girl terrorized us for two years. You fucking commies, go back to Russia. We wanted to say we belong here, but we couldn't. Because underneath it all, we wanted to say something else instead. We belong nowhere. Fuck you, ladies. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's not thank you. It's thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Fuck you, ladies. Anushka, Anushka, what does fuck you ladies mean? And I was obsessed with looking and acting sexy all the time and coming home to my mom and grandma and saying, um, I think it's time for me to have sex. I mean, Demi Moore has sex. Tom Cruise has sex. Madonna definitely has sex. 
Why can't I have sex? I'm not E.T. anymore. I'm a child of the 80s. I was born here. In Madonna's rebellious arms. I made it through the wilderness. wilderness. I learned the all the consonants. <laughs> Didn't know, know how lost I was till I got the adverse. I was stuck in, in my room. room. I, I was mute. Lost to the world until you made me feel. Until you made me feel an American girl. Like a virgin. Talks for the very first time. I say, I'm Russian. And I'm an immigrant. And she says, Cool, us too. My family came over here on the Mayflower. So I take Jenny to my parents' house for Thanksgiving, our favorite holiday, the apex of our full Americanization. Jenny, Jenny, uh, we want to ask you a question. Uh, what was it like being the original Americans? Uh, I, I don't know, Mrs. Fishpine. We came here a long time ago. Jenny! Oh, I have another question for you. Um, are you guys uh, full pilgrims or only half? Uh, Jenny, um, you're in for a treat. We're going to perform for you. Really, I used to be more French. No, I'm not trying to be fresh. Actually, to be honest with you, I know more Americans than Russians. Perhaps you know Bill from Chicago? <laughs> or maybe you know Terry from Philadelphia? <laughs> no, you don't. Good, then we're clear. And I am being fresh. I was in Barnes and Nobles. Reading Nabokov's Lolita, marveling at his exuberant English, when suddenly... I see you've got Lolita in your arms. This handsome man appeared out of nowhere and gave me the, yes, I'm hitting on you and Barnes and Noble smile. on the dating rituals of graduate students. Oh, do you always abuse men with your tongue? <laughs> Only when they compete with Nabokov. Mwah. Why didn't you study English, grandmother? Why didn't you train your tongue? Why didn't you roll your R's and L's and thus? Why did you say to me, I don't care about English. I'm not afraid of them. I am what I am. Where did you find this courage? At first, I was afraid. I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never leave without reading catcher in the right. But then I 